All right, so I'm going to try to make a little bit better video than what I did last time. So I'm going to start off here at the spawn. So any new player, any player who is still default, which is someone who hasn't registered on the forums just yet for member status, is going to spawn here. So we start off with the big basic signs, not looking for staff because you know everyone is going to ask, uh, welcome to the server, don't ask for op, I don't even have... Uh, the option to opt someone in game I turned that off in one of the config files so uh, we took out survival games I only put those up because I advertised on a lot of websites and I may have missed a lot of them when I went to taking that out of the description um, and then the regular players I just put a sign up there for warp spawn just in case they went here for some reason but I have it set so that they go to their spawn <coughs> alright so the bottom of the stairs uh, we frown upon any x-ray mods, anything that simulates an x-ray mod. If we find out you're using it, you will be banned. So please be respectful and do not use any. Uh, a lot of complaints I get are default players don't have TPA. I don't care that you don't like it, you're just a default player. Not that I don't appreciate you being on the server. I just don't want defaults having TPA or warp or anything. That's a member perk. Um, so this is the spawn. It's pretty basic. I just wanted something open and simple for people to spawn into so they don't get too confused. There are random spots around to buy uh, small amounts of food. If you want to, you can use your money on whatever you want, but I'm just putting them there to offer it. That way you have more food. I think whenever you join you have like five steak or something. Uh, so basic rule board here. This is for um, the server information. And this is the information about some of the plugins. So like if you're a default user, these are some of the basic plugins we can use. Uh, set home, most people know that you find a spot where you want to start building, you do slash set home and then use home to get back to it. Uh, how slash f help helps you with factions in case you're not familiar with it. And factions is beneficial if you are looking to claim land and protect anything you build. F chat uh, helps, uh, wait, what does he want? Uh, FChat switches your chat channel to um, possibly either ally only or just faction chat only so that way only people in that category, the, they're the only ones that will be able to see what you're saying. Uh, money shows you your balance, we'll do that, um, which I shouldn't have, oh you know what, because of the slots. Um, jobs, it gives you jobs join, leave, list, so if you want to do jobs list. It gives you a list and they can do jobs, join, whatever, like minor. It should tell me I'm already in minor. And that's how you're doing a job. And then to do the job, you just do whatever it says. Like, it says minor, you want to mine. Um, slash PVP tells you, like, your stats. I don't really PVP often, so I don't really have any stats there. Um, auction. We have flow auction, so you can auction an item. Uh, basically, you want to be highlighted in your... Uh, main inventory bar down here over the item you want to auction off. LWC is what we use to lock chests. You can lock up to 25 items and uh, they're only protected while you're offline. So while you're online, your chests are not protected. Anyone can get into them. The only reason I don't completely get rid of LWC is because I don't want faction members stealing from each other or else we wouldn't have any type of chest locking plugin at all and I would just leave it to factions to protect your chests. Uh, CO inspect, that is available to any member, and that is so you can check if someone in your faction was griefing. Basically with that, you just take a block, say someone broke that block, or a block was here and someone broke it, you would place it, and it would show you the name of whoever broke or placed it or whatever happened there, then you just type it again to get back out of that mode. Uh, like I said, that's only for members, that's more for like faction factions so that they can see who in a faction might have griefed just because griefing is okay on the server so mods aren't really going to care if um, someone else destroyed something so that's up to you and your faction if you want to kick them they won't get banned for it uh, and like it says here more perms available with higher ranks so if you want to go online look at the server shop if you want to donate there are other options like mob disguise spawners you can buy XP all kinds of things so I would just check it out if I were you um, here it says you may build in any unprotected wilderness so for example this area here is a safe zone you walk out here and you start walking you get into the wilderness eventually it'll show up 
And then you can build out there. You can claim it with your faction if you create a faction. And then we're back in the safe zone here for now. This is a safe zone just because I don't want any PvP or anything for new players. So here are uh, the basic signs to teleport. So if you want to go somewhere else, if you don't just want to go straight out to the wilderness and build, you can click here to go to parkour, cops and robbers, the creative portal, or the regular spawn, which is where any one member and higher spawns. And it says the casino is closed right now because it is. I'm having a problem with it resetting economy accounts just because the casino is set to use a uh, server money, which is just a random account. It's not anyone else's. Uh, here's the staff. I think I need to add a few people to it because some things have changed since I made it. Random plugins we use, chairs. You just sneak and right click on uh, stairs, basically, and they work like a chair. MCMMO. I think I took the thing out for that. If you type that, yeah, and then you can type MCMMO help to get the information on that. If you don't know anything about that, I would look it up. Uh, tree assist, so you chop the bottom block of a tree, the whole thing comes down, it makes it a lot easier to get wood, and it also automatically replants a tree so you don't have just like the top of a tree left around because people never finish cutting the whole tree down. Um, <coughs> sorry, my throat is kind of dry. <laughs> um, trophy heads. When you kill a player or even a mob, there's a very high chance of it dropping their actual head, so you can pick it up and set it wherever you want. Uh, factions, mob health, mob health, you, when you're killing a mob you can see how much health they have left if you want to take off the notifications in chat, which you'll know what I'm talking about whenever you see it. It's slash mh toggle, and then it'll disable it because it takes up a lot of uh, chat space. Dead man's chest is uh, for when you die. If you're carrying a chest on you, when you die all of your items will go into that chest, so if you can find that spot again you can go back to the chest and get your items. and they'll be saved. The only exception for that is like if you fall into lava or something. Let's see, so yeah, don't bother asking for staff. I'd rather you not. So let's just click back to the other spawn. So this was the original spawn, but I changed it because it's too complicated for some people for some reason. A couple basic signs, a couple signs about plugins we have or had or whatever access you might have. This was the old rule room, so any rules or information is in there. Oh, we also have lottery, so if you do slash lottery, it'll give you the information for that. Slash lottery, buy, buys the lottery ticket. You can buy up to three. So portals to worlds. This is the admin shop. If you have warps, I'll show you the warps. You can do a slash warp admin shop. There's only a few items here, and it's you'll notice it's only things you can sell, and that's just so you can make a little bit of money. I don't want money uh, to get too out of control. I don't want people being extremely rich just from selling a lot of things so this is the portal floor that one's closed it was survival games sorry for the lag the video makes it lag uh, cops and robbers part or creative plot world and the parkour so you just step inside up against the wall and it will take you to that world and the last thing I'm going to show on this video, whenever you exit this spawn, and like I said, you don't have to come to this spawn, you can just walk out of the default spawn and go do your own thing. We have shop plots here, which no one's really made any very successful shops just yet, so you click on the sign, you're assigned to the plot, you can build on it, you create your shop. Uh, creative items are not allowed to be sold in the shop. Then regular players can come in and just buy or sell however you want your items, so you just create your shop how you want it to be. Which is why I didn't make that big of an admin shop, because I want players to uh, have successful private shops. So that's basically it for the server for now. Sorry it's starting to get a little laggy. It's not the server, it's just because I'm recording right now. So that's it. Um, one thing I do want to add real quick before I shut this off is things like this castle, the opera house. Um, a lot of the bigger, more uh, intricate structures like the village over there. A lot of that is are things I used MC Edit and put them into the map from Planet Minecraft, and I did not build them myself because I don't love to build. Uh, the originals, the default spawn I did build, but you can probably tell just because it's kind of bland. Uh, that sports arena, that was world edit. That little farm right there I built, but it's not anything too special. But Alright, so that's the introduction to the server, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you. Bye.